are watching Canadian Muslim News on Muslim Network TV from Toronto, Ontario. I'm Catherine Bullock. Assalamu alaikum and greetings of peace. Later on in the show, we have a treat, a conversation with world champion Master Abdullah Sabri about martial arts for Muslims. But first, some news headlines. Interest rate increases for seventh time this year. Trudeau acknowledges barriers faced by Muslim charities. Kelowna bylaw officer racially attacked. Germany busts far right cell plotting to overthrow state. And now the details. Starting today, the prime lending rate is now 6.45%. The news comes after the Bank of Canada increased the interest rate for the seventh time this year. In an announcement yesterday, the leading bank increased the interest rate by 50% basis points. Following the move, Canada's top five banks also increased their rates. During previous rate hikes, the bank had signaled further increases would occur until the economy stabilizes. However, Yesterday, the bank said it would wait and see if any further increase was needed to control inflation and to keep supply and demand in balance. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says that there is, quote, significantly more to do regarding systemic barriers faced by Muslim charities. The news comes following a federal watchdog review of limitations put by the Canada Revenue Agency against Muslim charities and organisations. Revenue Minister Diane Le Boutier had asked the taxpayers' ombudsman to conduct a review of the agency to address the concerns of the Muslim community over CRA bias. Last month, the ombudsperson said that his office was unable to access the information from the agency to conduct the review. A spokesperson for the Revenue Minister's office says the minister expects the two parties to cooperate fully. A bylaw officer in West Kelowna, British Columbia, has been subject to a racist incident Monday while following up on parking violation warnings, reports a media source. According to the source, the officer, whose name is being withheld, was writing up tickets when a passerby demanded that she go back to where she came from. In the footage captured by the officer, the man can be seen using profane language. City of West Kelowna manager Paul Gipps said that the incident was extremely disappointing. The police spoke to the man who said he was sorry. He will write an apology letter. German police staged nationwide raids on Wednesday and arrested 25 people suspected of belonging to a far-right terror cell. The group was plotting to overthrow the government and attack parliament. Its followers believe in the continued existence of the pre-war German Reich or Empire as it stood under the Nazis and includes neo-Nazis, conspiracy theorists and gun enthusiasts. Around 3,000 officers including elite anti-terror units took part in the early morning raids and searched more than 130 properties in what German media describe as one of the country's largest police actions ever against extremists. Two of the 25 arrests were made abroad in Austria and Italy. And that's it for the news. There are some amongst us who are old enough to remember a hit movie called The Karate Kid that came out in 1984, popularizing martial arts across North America. Our next guest pioneered a unique blend of Islam and martial arts around the same time. To learn more about the relationship between Islam and martial arts, we are joined by Master Abdullah Sabri. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the show. Wa alaikum assalam. Master yes, Sabri. I'm happy to be here. We're, we're very happy to have you with us. Honored. We're honored to have you with us. I'd like to ask you, uh, the movie Karate Kid, which came out, uh, actually I was in Australia at the time and it made martial arts very famous. Had you begun your program before that or did the Karate Kid kind of prompt you with the idea that, yes, this is something I should also be doing? Well, we, be we began the program before that. Um, we've been working with the martial arts since 1970. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. And it goes 
back, way back beyond mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And it was a process of um, uh, uh, bringing the martial arts to the Muslim community and to the community at large mm -hmm. so that everyone was involved in it. We've had various different people involved in the program and I've worked with them and um, we've had people from the police department to the, the many, many different um, ethnic group uh, from various different groups, etc., that has been involved in the program and has worked with us um, with the program. And I have trained people over the years in many, many areas and many different aspects of the martial arts. And I have also practiced myself, and I have um, participated in um, tournaments throughout Canada and throughout the world. Um, I have gained two times world championship in the martial arts. I have won just about everything in North America, um, and I've participated in many, many areas with many groups and activities. Well, con congratulations on those championships. I remember uh, a lot of Muslims in the community are a little bit reluctant to go for martial arts because there are certain aspects, like, for example, the bowing to the instructor that they feel is, is not appropriate. How have you blended uh, Islam with martial arts? Well, first of all, um, the martial arts is a means of self-defense, but it's also a means of um, uh, developing oneself um, so that you feel confident to be in any environment um, without fear. And I've worked very closely with, um, I've, I had a lot of sisters that um, are now black belts and are teaching other sisters too to be confident in themselves and to move forward and not be afraid of the environment, but within range of, um, you know, you have to be in a proper environment and not in an inappropriate environment, but not be afraid of being who you are. When you uh, in incorporate Islamic uh, practices into the martial arts, does it make it different? Is it a different kind of martial arts? Yeah. Let, let me try that again. I, I, I've seen some people not want to go to martial arts because there are practices like where you have to bow to the instructor and this is something that a lot of muslims don't like because they say i'll only bow to allah so have you adapted any kind of martial arts for your program at umar martial arts have you adapted it yes we have changed that environment where none of my students have to bow um there is a, a means of giving respect to the instructor and when you are participating in tournaments, giving respect to the opponent, etc., without bowing. Okay? Can you... And that has been accepted by many of the martial arts um, around the world. And, and how is it? is it? Is it like a hand over the chest? Like, what do you do to show that respect? Essentially, it, it is it's, uh, together, oh, like hands that. together. Ah, yes. And okay. bringing your knees down rather than bowing your head. I understand. Okay? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that gives the respect to the opponent or to the instructors without bowing. Mm -hmm. There are many different kinds of martial arts, karate, taekwondo, judo, jiu-jitsu. Does your UMA program have one in particular that you prefer? Uh, I, I prefer the one that works. <laughs> so in other words, we, we, in, we have incorporated 
I have had a background in many of the various different forms or styles of martial arts. Okay, I have trained in jiu-jitsu, I've trained in um, karate, I have trained in um, taekwondo, I have I have experienced different fields of the martial arts, and I have trained on the street too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, that is my background. Hmm. And I've incorporated all of these areas and make it acceptable to the individuals who are practicing it so that mm -hmm. they feel comfortable. When they take on the martial arts, it is not something foreign that they've accepted, but it becomes a part of them. In your website, you talk about also stopping during uh, uh, during practice, I guess, or a teaching session, you'll pray or you do some kind of Islamic activities. Can you please share with us what those might be? Okay. What I have done essentially is um, most of our training sessions are in the massages. Okay. So when it becomes prayer time, we stop at prayer time and do our prayer. Okay. And this has become interesting because we had Jewish and other groups um, who have participated in our program and they learned to respect the time that we had that we prayed and mm. submitted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. Do, do you see a great impact on children who come then to the program at the beginning? Perhaps they've never been in a mosque or they, their family doesn't pray and they stop and either watch you pray or they join in. Do you see how that develops over time and impact on them? Yes, we've seen a tremendous improvement. As a matter of fact, we've I've had adults that joined the program and were not Muslims and became Muslims afterwards, took their shahada. Mm -hmm. So it's not only for Muslims, it's also for non-Muslims. And then you're doing what we call dawah, like uh, spreading the message of Islam through this sport. Essentially, yes. Um, when I started the, the martial arts program in the Masajid, it was not simply for the martial arts per se. It mm -hmm. was for the Dawa. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this was the main emphasis that we had was the Dawa. Okay. Mm -hmm. And to participate in this, to learn to defend oneself and to learn to accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the creator of mm -hmm. oneself. Mm -hmm. To learn to respect other human beings and to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all of these other human beings too and everything in creation. And learn a respect for them. Give that respect to them. Learn to defend yourself if an adverse action comes against you but learn to understand that action and everything around you in respect to who you are as a human being submitting to a loss by no doubt. Well, we're out of time, but I want to sign up. I'm sure all the listeners do too. Thank you very much for joining us today. It is indeed an honor and I pray and hope that we as Muslims can understand the aspect of ourselves, not yes. just the martial arts, all of ourselves and yes. come together in this. The martial arts in essentially is part of the Sunnah. I'm really sorry the I have sunnah. to cut you there, but we're out of time. Thank you for joining us. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah Karim. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please share, like, and subscribe. Stay safe and God bless.